Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. In this slow economy, there's not a lot of extra money to go around, and plenty of people lack health insurance. But as problem solver Susan Hogan tells us, some members of your family may be taking a back seat when it comes to getting a checkup. Our pets are a huge part of our family. For many people, pets are all they have. But because of the recession, many people are making choices that could be putting their pet's health at risk. Roll over, people. You're not the only ones worried about health care in an unhealthy economy. Oh, boy. Yes, you are. Three dogs, Dave Hustad's companions, day and night. They're you know, part of my family. A breathing disease often keeps him home. They're the best support you can get. Thank you. But he's delayed their vet visits. The dogs are overdue, and it's partly because of the down economy. They need their shots, yeah. I think that uh, veterinary care is much more expensive sometimes than it is for human care. And a lot of people are putting off procedures for their pets, not just teeth cleaning and surgery, but some of the decisions can be life-threatening. It's heart-wrenching sometimes because it comes down to whether they can give proper treatment to the animals. It's really a good time to uh, uh, plan for the unexpected. Curtis Steinhoff says consider pet insurance. He works for veterinary pet insurance and knows pet doctors are not recession-proof. Their routine visits are way down. And it's because people are going, you know, I can wait six more months to get his teeth cleaned. It's kind of like car insurance. Don't, don't wait to wreck your car to get insurance. Dave Hustad is a couple of months behind on his dog's shots. He has pet insurance, found out what shots are covered, and is now planning a visit to the vet soon. Many pet owners will do what they can to make sure their pet's health doesn't take a back seat to the bad economy. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1, hotline 228-1850. I'm problem solver Susan Hogan, Eyewitness News.